From Southwest Florida's news source, this is Fox 4 News. Your perceived sexual orientation can be used against you at any time. He absolutely violated the law. An openly gay teen in Southwest Florida suing her high school for violating her constitutional rights. Thanks for joining us. I'm Patrick Nolan. And I'm Emily Dishno. A national gay and lesbian organization has filed a lawsuit on her behalf. They're accusing school officials of retaliating against the student for participating in a silent protest against bullying. Foreigner Corner's Mike Mason explains. The lawsuit filed by Lambda Legal is seeking two things. First, to acknowledge what the district did is wrong. Second, to keep this from happening again. 16-year-old Amber Hatcher is openly gay. She's suing her school, DeSoto County High, on behalf of all students who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender, or LGBT. The fact that they are sitting down letting this happen, it makes me so very upset. There have been times it just seems almost hopeless, the fact that people can let this happen to them. Last April, Hatcher says administrators refused to let her participate in the National Day of Silence. That's when students are asked to remain silent for the entire day in honor of fellow students who are bullied for being different. When Hatcher went to school, she says she planned to speak in class only if she was called upon by teachers. Instead, she was called to the office. I was put in in-school suspension for the um, duration of the day. Attorney Beth Luttrell filed a lawsuit against the school claiming Hatcher's First Amendment rights were violated. It is discrimination. It is also a violation of First Amendment rights and uh, the right to equal protection under the law. The lawsuit includes an email Hatcher sent to the district superintendent asking for prior permission to participate in the day of silence. Records show the superintendent then emailed Hatcher's principal saying, since this is classified as a protest, I will not approve the activity on our campuses. The principal responded, stating, I addressed the issue with Ms. Hatcher, and I have each time told her no and what the ramifications would be if the protest occurred. Can you at least answer a question? The school's new principal refused to comment, but one student did tell us there's a real problem with gays being bullied. It's hard because people will make fun of them and just, I usually shut the people that make fun of them down and be like, hey guys, they're a person, so. So it's not easy. It's not easy, no. Attorneys say the National Day of Silence was founded in 1996, and this is the first time they've had to file a lawsuit to enforce it. In Arcadia, Mike Mason, Fox 4 in your corner.